Hey, what is up YouTube? It is Hamdog Hype and welcome back to the channel. So today we have another Ghost from the Past, the second haunting opening. This is our fourth box from our uh, case. Uh, so we have one more box coming up on the channel and then I have another case I bought, which I probably will save for like our 500 subscriber live opening. But anyways, we're still searching for another Ghost Rare card. We've only pulled one Ghost Rare card so far, which is the best one to pull, I think, in my opinion, the Blue Eyes White Dragon. The Dark Magician Girl is the most valuable one, so that'd be nice to add that to our collection, but we pulled the one we wanted, so that's nice. I would like uh, the Winged Dragon Raw Sphere form to add to our collection too. I think that one's in the set. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up. I think Red Eyes might also be in the set, but I'm not 100% sure. That'd be really cool to add those too. But without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up. And the way these works, it worked is there's four packs in here, and each pack is about five cards. So you don't have a, a great opportunity to pull the Ghost Rare. And some people get it like one in every few few cases, if they're lucky. Some people open up like multiple cases and haven't opened one. So I think we got really lucky. That was our second box that we got it in, the uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon. So I doubt we'll get another one from these two cases that we're going to open up. But hey, you never know. The journey is most of the fun, right? So let's go ahead and start. We have three different artworks. I think this is the Archfiend something. Everyone keeps telling me what this is and I keep forgetting what it is in the, chat, uh, in the comment section, so I apologize. But that'd be cool to get one of these and see uh, the Ghost Rare form too. But you'll know when we pull a Ghost Rare, it's like impossible to see the foil, especially with my lighting. So without further ado, let's open up our first pack of this Ghost and Pass opening. All right, so you're going to, there's five cards. I think the middle card or the fourth card is the Ghost Rare. I'm not 100% sure. Anyways, we have a white beard. Puppet Queen, Vision Hero Increase, uh, Mystic Shine Ball, Mystical Shine Ball, and then Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. Uh, fun fact, the first time I opened up this, one of the first videos on this channel actually was a Ghost from the Past 2 opening. And I opened up a Mystic Shine Ball and I couldn't really see the hollow, so I thought this was a Ghost Rare, but it is not a Ghost Rare, guys. It's just a regular Ultra Rare. So yeah, very embarrassing moment. Uh, humble beginnings of Hamdog, but yeah. Anyways, this is the Cyber Dragon. Uh, artworks. The Cyber Dragon is available in Ghost Rare form, so that'd be a really nice card to add to our collection too. There's like, I think there's like 10 Ghost Rares, so we're never going to finish a Master Set of this. Even though we've opened up so many packs, we're never going to finish a Master Set. Anyways, we have the Agent of Force Mars, Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon, DD Vice King Requiem, Vampire Sucker, that's a really weird name, and Vampire Takeover. Interesting. A lot of Vampire cards I forgot from this set. Another Archfiend pack. It's a third pack of this video. Still no, still no Ghost Rare. We have a Retaliating C. It's a really weird name. Savant Copernicus. Oh gosh, Dark Alligator. I thought that was, <laughs> I, thought, I don't know why. I thought that was like a Dark Magician for some reason. Um, and then the Ancient, the Ancient of Miracles, Jupiter. And then Contract with the Void. Interesting card. Really cool. I thought it was a ritual card for a second. It is not. Our last artwork is the Dark Magician Girl. So can we pull the Dark Magician Girl in her own artwork? Let's see. I think I did see a video of someone doing that recently, which was insane. I think it was Jobber. Anyways, we have number 38. Baxia. So the ghost should be right here. I don't think that's a ghost. Nope. Albert, the Jester of Despia. So the Ghost can all be, I think, the fourth slot, which is definitely not. Nope. Brute Enforcer. And then we got Manju of a Thousand Tents. It's a really cool card. That, that's that's in one of the sets we've been opening up. Wow, this card really feels fake for some reason. I don't know why that card feels very fake. Yeah, this one feels real. I don't know. This card just looks and feels extremely fake. I don't know. Something's off about this card. I'm going to have to inspect it a little bit later. It looks real, but it just, like, feels fake and if you look at a weird at different angles it just feels fake i don't know why that's weird because all the other cards seem very legit i don't know anyways uh well no ghost rare which is to be expected but you know we have a lot more boxes to open up another case on top of it so hopefully we'll pull at least one more ghost rare and if we pull another blue eyes oh sorry Oof, voice crack pull another blue eyes i'll be totally okay with that uh not a huge deal um but i really would like either the dark mission girl red eyes or the um the Wing Dragon of Raw Ghost Rare form. That'd be really cool. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.